An explosive turn during testing for SpaceX. A prototype for the rocket designed to bring humans back to the moon suffered a mishap this afternoon. News 6's Eric Sandoval is getting more info about what happened since then. Eric. Yeah, guys, this happened at SpaceX's test, test facility in South Texas today. The goal was to actually fill this rocket full of pressure to see how much it could take. Video shows the explosive results. 4.30 this afternoon Eastern Time, SpaceX conducts a pressure test on one of its Starship prototypes in South Texas. When this happens, a huge cloud of what looks like steam blows the top off the rocket, sending a stream of vapor over the facility. Tonight, SpaceX is explaining a little more of what they say happened, telling News 6 the purpose of today's test was to pressurize systems to the max, so the outcome was not completely unexpected. There were no injuries, nor is this a serious setback. Elon Musk told reporters last month that testing is vital. When you test, you're, you're testing uh, extreme conditions, you're testing all phenomenal conditions, uh, and you're trying to find out, find uh, extreme corner cases of where things go wrong. The Starship is SpaceX's concept for a reusable rocket. It's expected to be used for launches to the moon, Mars, and to go anywhere on Earth in under an hour. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine says SpaceX's risk of failure in these tests is something he admires. Some people um, see concerns in that. Uh, I will tell you that, that um, I, I think it's different than a lot of our other contractors, but I don't, think it's, I don't think it's worse. I don't think it's better. It's different. And there is more big space news to tell you about tonight. SpaceX's competitor Boeing is set to roll out its Starliner while you're sleeping tonight. It's going to be moved from Kennedy Space Center over to a launch pad at Cape Canaveral. It's set to uh, take a test launch to the International Space Station. That is set for December 17th. Matt, Lisa. Eric, thank you.